Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to convert an Excel file into an SQL file and then be able to load that into PHP My Admin. To begin with, um, I have an Excel file right here that we're going to use for example. I did a data pool of the NASDAQ stock tickers and then this is just a standard data sheet. We want to keep in mind that the first row is going to be equivalent to the field names. So there's a couple formatting that every sheet has to go through. In this example here, I'm just going to remove the, the top data that we don't need. That gives us this first row, which is the equivalent of the table of the table fields that we want to insert. I'm also going to delete these records here. I'm going to create an insert and then give it an ID. This would auto increment once we create the SQL file. Then everything else should fall into place. The next thing we want to do is save this as an as a CSV file. File save as. Let me put it on the desktop. Save. CSV stands for comma comma separated values. Perfect. Once we have it saved as a CSV, like this example here, go ahead and open up a web browser. We want to navigate over to convertcsv.com. The link will be in the description below. Once we're here at convertcsv.com forward slash CSV to SQL, we want to go into step number one and import that. Once the file loads, give the browser a second so it can load the data. Next, we want to go to step number two and choose our options. In this case, the first row is the column names. Then we want to go down over here. This one's going to be an integer. This one's going to be set as a key. We don't want null as an empty. Everything else can be a bar chart, or you could change them if you know the different types that we have. Then we want to come down here. Here we want to put the name of the table. In this case, we're going to call it NASDAQ, because this is about stocks. Then over here, we want to choose, what are we going to do? Auto increment the key, which is the first one we checked here. Then we want to convert to SQL insert because we're going to be inserting a new table called NASDAQ with about 2,500 records. Then we're going to give this a name. Go ahead, and, go ahead and hit the download button and save your file. Now we have the SQL equivalent. Let's take a look at it. Open it up with your notepad. So here we have a standard SQL file. Basically it gives the command to create a new table called NASDAQ and then insert all these records into that table. And we have 2,963 records. That should insert without a problem. In my case I use XAMPP as my local environment to run PHP my admin. So let's go back to the web browser. I'm going to load localhost. Go into PHP My Admin. Once that loads, I, I already have a database called MarketWatch, but I'm going to show you how to create a new database. So we click databases. This is part of the demo. You could call it whatever you want. Once we have that, we want to go over to import, browse, load the SQL that you created, leave everything as is, SQL, and hit the go. That's going to start to execute the SQL file. So I'll, I'll connect back once this is done. Excellent. So the SQL file has finished, finished executing. So it completed 2,950 records. Uh, keep in mind that PHP My Admin has a timeout of 300 seconds, which is approximately 4,500 records. If you have a file that has more than 4,500, I highly recommend that you split that up into two different SQL files. All right, thanks for watching, you guys. If you want any other tutorials or have any questions, go ahead and place them in the comments below. I would appreciate them.